The investigation into those four execution style murders growing tonight. And it's a game of investigative connect the dots. Here's the grow operation where the four murders occurred. Now, let me show you Wu Chen, the man accused of pulling the trigger. Now, another arrest, this guy, Kevin Pham. He's the alleged go to man for the grow, which we've now learned was part of a ghost operation. News Force Caitlin Ogle joining us with details. And, Caitlin, this is a tangled web. Tangled web, indeed. And we've learned through these search warrants that Pham is the point of contact for 63 other pot farms in Oklahoma. That license was obtained for that farm through fraud. Just two days after the execution of four Chinese nationals at a marijuana farm in Kingfisher County, the Oklahoma City office of this man, Kevin Pham, was raided by drug agents. According to these documents from the OBN, investigators linked the 10 acre grow to the business Lu and Chin Inc. News 4 unable to confirm if Chin refers to Wu Chin, who was the alleged gunman in the quadruple murder. 46 year old Kevin Pham is registered as Lu and Chin Inc.'s representative. In this search warrant, drug agents say, quote, FAM seems to be the central point of contact for the growers regardless of the situation. He is tied to at least 63 other farms in Oklahoma where he has essentially created this fraudulent structure. And here's why. In Oklahoma, 75% of a grow must belong to an Oklahoma resident. The other 25% can be an out-of-state owner. Drug agents say this is where the criminal organizations come in and mask the true ownership, which is a challenge to prove. And as for the Kingfisher County farm... We can't say for sure that we can trace criminal activity on the black market or money laundering. That is still part of an ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, drug agents say this ghost owner was paid $2,000 a month for each license. No work involved. Agents say he has several. Sam was paid $500 to $2,500 for each grow he's helped. The night of the executions, drug agents say, quote, Pham was contacted by individuals of a marijuana grow and was, quote, notified of the incident. Then Pham messaged the ghost owner on an app called Signal that deletes messages over time. During the raid of his office, agents finding 300 packages of edibles ready for sale and more than 10 pounds of processed marijuana. Products agents say he didn't have licenses for. They also found four weapons, Adderall and hydrocodone. We tried to reach FAM at his office. However, court documents say, quote, according to FAM's employee, no one is allowed in FAM's office. Inside, curtains covered the doors and windows. We also tried his home, but no one answered. As for the ghost owner, he surrendered all of his licenses to the OBN. The, those licenses are no longer active, and so immediately anything that's taking place at those farms must cease and desist. Now OBN agents are going through all the grows under that ghost owner's name to make sure they're legitimate. Pham was arrested on fraud and dr drug charges, but has since bonded out. And according to online court records, he's pleaded guilty to several second-degree Berkeley charges in the past. An OSBI spokeswoman says there's nothing new to report on the homicide today.